hard. All right. Um, are there any organization-wide updates that any of you want to share on the call? If not, we'll move on. Um, since we have few participants, what I'm going to do is just um, go through each of you and individually ask you if you have any updates pertaining to any of the teams, uh, and I can jot them down in the respective uh, boxes here. Akash, do you want to go first? Uh, sorry. So I am part of the... Um, Social uh, Twitter analytics, uh, social media analytics team. Right. How's it going uh, with that work? Yeah, social analysis. No, not the social analysis. It should be social media. Ah, this one. Uh, so we had an initial submission, uh, which we did for the uh, Spark AI hackathon, which is the hackathon for good. Um, we submitted our uh, initial analysis, and, uh, um, which uh, the, the, so I'm giving a background to uh, uh, to what we did was we uh, hydrated around uh, some 250 million tweets, mm -hmm. which were related to COVID. Uh, 19 uh, related information. Any uh, who had inf uh, spoken about COVID 19 on Twitter, we had captured that information. <laughs> and like to visualize and analyze those things to see mm -hmm. if we can gain some insights from that. Uh, so we did it for the month of Jan, Feb, March, and April and May. Uh, those are the five months for which we had extracted those uh, data bits. Uh, part of the data set uploaded on Dataverse. Uh, thanks to Slava for that. Uh, unfortunately, because there are some issues related to anonymization of the tweets, we cannot uh, publicly, we cannot publish it and make it generally available. Uh, but right. it is, so if someone is interested in having a look, they can just connect with me or any one of our team members. Right. That's right. awesome. Um, yeah. it, would you have any idea of what some of these insights were that we presented? In the uh, so I shared a presentation uh, that we did for this purpose, for a submission. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, it's in the social channel, uh, one of the social channels, I guess. Uh, okay. But I can uh, reshare it on the general channel. I'll do it tomorrow. Sure. Or, or, you, sure, tomorrow. Sure. or you could just add it so here as well. Uh, where should I add it? Uh, on the document, the general updates. Uh, you'll have to message me on. Can you message the link to this document on? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I don't have. have it. Yeah, on the Slack channel, do it. Okay, so I, I have a. I'll do that. I'll also put it on your general channel. Uh, so we are awesome. still working on it because we have a second paper submission to be done. Uh, which is by the uh, mid of next July. Uh, okay. We still have a lot of work to do, and we are open to adding new tem team members who have interest in this uh, subject, who are interested in this. In this subject. Oh, awesome! Uh, you've already identified papers. Oh, sorry, people who are interested. Uh, yes, we have a team of five people who are working on it right now. And if anyone else is interested, they can join in. Just drop me a message saying that they want to do X, Y, Z with this data. And we are happy to accommodate them in the team. And they can start working on it. There's a lot of data. So data We have a huge amount of data. There's infrastructure which people can leverage and uh, work with it. So... Yeah, so I'll give a general idea. It's like people who are like get interested in large data sets, network analysis, social media analysis. If anyone is, they can join in. Awesome. 
awesome. Yeah. Thanks so, for the update, Akar. Other, uh, yeah, one other thing that I just, uh, is something that I want to add is that we are also looking at mapping misinformation through this, these networks. Uh, a lot of social media data networks are used to spread misinformation. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can use these this data set to try to map how these um, any kind of fake information was propagated through these networks. Oh, that's super interesting. Do we like know what uh, which messages are fake or uh, detecting fake messages? Ah, that that is the, <laughs> that's the biggest challenge. So okay. what I've done is that uh, we have uh, collated uh, some kind of fact checks. So there are organizations which do a lot of fact checking. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so about uh, uploaded about forty four thousand such fact checking tweets. Okay, so we need okay. to somehow map these fact checker tweets mm -hmm. with the Twitter database. Ah, I see. Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if this is useful or if you've already connected with Matan before, but uh, Matan worked on a fake news detection pipeline, uh, which Who might was? be useful for this. Who was working on that? Uh, Matan, I'm struggling to remember his second name. Um, I will ping it here. I think it's Matan. Yeah. So if you have any information, just ping on uh, DM me or Slack. Yep, I'll do that. Cool, that's all from my end. Awesome, thanks Akash. Uh, Isaac, do you want to go next with updates? Uh, sure, uh, so with our team, we've uh, um, um, so Okay, so basically, yeah, the core things are um, we've been working to get our data infrastructure set up. Um, so we've had several more meetings about that. Um, it's kind of progressing slow, but progress is being made. Um, mm -hmm. Then the other thing is we, I now have most of the code for our enhanced evaluation metrics. Um, so that's now up and um, running um, and then yeah and then we have another group working on getting our kind of visualizations of feature importance added to our main repo um, mm -hmm. so once we have that that should give Serge some stuff to look at from an epi standpoint um, and use for his kind of literature review um, awesome. Quick, quick question, Isaac. Um, I put a call out for a, a coordinator for you, and I've had a conversation with it. But as a David Burita, who's like marked himself as interested in helping coordinate for you, I'm just wondering if you've heard anything from him yet, or if you had a discussion yet. Yeah, we had a brief uh, discussion on Slack. I think he's going to try to drop into our meeting today and get a, oh. to get a better sense of the team and stuff. So. Um, just let me yeah. know how that goes or if you need any more help. Okay, sure. That sounds good. All right. Thanks, Isaac. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, that was, um, no, that was our main up. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. I see Bianca next. Bianca, how's it going with you? Did you have any updates you wanted to share? Uh, yeah, sure. Or Tyler, do you want to take it? You take it. That's fine. I've talked a lot recently. I'll stop. <laughs> cool. So um, work is still progressing with the CRM. We're now looking at uh, sending the welcome emails and Slack invites in a more automated way so we can move away from Zepia. Mm -hmm. And the, the other thing that's happening is we're preparing the content for the team's page on the website. So using the CRM for that plus additional information that we have. So we are going to be trying to reach out to team 
steps. So we're going to be trying to reach out to teams to try and get um, a summary statement of the projects and what, they, what they're working on right now. That's kind of something we're going to be working on. And okay. team leads are going to be, yeah, we're going to be getting some sort of information from team leads rather than just extracting it straight out of the LinkedIn. Just to help them mm -hmm. define how they want to be defined, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. Just giving people a chance to not be featured on the website if they do not want to be there. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or use a code name or something. Uh, thanks for that, Bianca and Tyler. Uh, any other updates or any um, anything you need in terms of help from other members? No, I don't think so. Not right now. All right. That's good. Thank you. Um, I see Aman Chaudhary next. Hey, Aman. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I don't actually have any updates more than just school is over and I'm free to help out with any projects that need it. Amazing. I second. Are you, uh, are you, are you working with any teams at the moment? Have you contacted or do you have anything in mind that you'd be interested in? Um, I'm currently a little bit involved with the Health Lens team, but that's not directly with Corona Y. So I'm open to getting involved with any of the teams. I don't really have anything in mind other than um, both RISC and VT seem pretty interesting. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you should, for VT, I think you should get in touch with dancers and for RISC, um, you should get in touch with Maya to see if there's anything that they can um, uh, hand over to you. Uh, otherwise, I think um, Akash mentioned that the social media team is looking to onboard a few members. So that's also something you can look at. Yeah, I'll send out some messages later today. Yeah, there's social media. We've just had a like introduction chat because now it's starting to be formalized as its own sort of problem that's been looked at. And yeah, there's been interesting discussions about using historical social uh, social um, data to use as models for current mm -hmm. systems. And there've been discussions on like historical information. There's, there's, some, there's some interesting discussions happening there. And yeah, if you're interested, by all means, go have a look. Yeah, and I think I heard something earlier about m tracking misinformation, which is something I've always been sort of fascinated with. And I'd love to get involved with that. Awesome. Uh, Aman, uh, you could drop me a message if you're interested in joining a team. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Cool. Um, lastly, I see Vijay. Hi, Vijay. How are you? Hello. Hello. How's how's your day? What are you up to? Do you, have, do you have anything you want to share with the team here? No, I'm just chilling. <laughs> That's good. It's good to be chilling. All right. Um, anything else anyone wanted to discuss generally in terms of suggestions, comments? Yeah, I have one, but it's sort of off topic. Artur, how is your computer not dying from the 100 tabs you have open? Hey, that's actually not Artur, that's me. Oh. I, I, I use his login to uh, start the uh, you, you uh, think I'm actually at like... <laughs> I do think it's a lot of tabs. You should yeah, see that's my not computer. a lot of tabs. <laughs> I, I'm at a better phase in my life when I think I'm a bit more organized with fewer tabs. I've been using I've been using an add-on that's called Wakona that Bianca advised me, and it basically means you can group, group your tabs into like work groups. But the side effect of that is is now I have rather than one massive thing, I have three browsers running with 120 tabs. Right oh now. my! I have, that's, that's on that's <laughs> only right now. I think I I ate like 250 recently, and I was like, right, this needs to get tidied up because it's insane. I have. Oh, I, have, I, have, look, I don't I have think my laptop with, could handle a tenth of that. 
I, I have it occasionally I have in, in individual windows with 50 tabs because I'm looking at multiple things and I open them, comp I'm comparing several points of view and so on. Very, uh, yeah, that's how I basically, I just go, oh, that's interesting, open a tab. I do that like all day long and then I open eventually have to tab tidy is... up. <laughs> Tyler, what is the tool that we are using? What is what? It's called Wakona. Huh? So work the word, then O-N-A. It's like an add-on for, 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 I think it's got a Firefox and a Chrome browser one. But basically it means you can create groups and then when you, rather than like having just one massive list of tabs, you can group them uh -huh. and then they get, they get like shut down when you're not using them and you can move between them. So the side effect is you can have more tabs and only have less of them open at any one time. It's a nice little management system. And you can group things so you don't lose them because if you open something, and you forget why you opened it, you can just stick it in the in the group that makes sense for you. I mean, I can just spare me a second. Does it eat up the memory space? Pardon? Does it, Does it eat, eat up the RAM? Yeah, I've I got a lot of RAM. I've got, I've, I've got a very powerful PC, so RAM doesn't really yeah. run into a problem. How much? I mean, it it's useful. I mean, I've got 16 and it never has run. I've got 16 and a, and a pretty powerful PC, but mine's not a laptop, so it does all right. But yeah, my Chrome is still massive. It's still like four or five gig of RAM usually. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that topic. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else from anyone? If not, thanks everyone for joining. Have a good rest of your day. Cheers. Bye-bye. See you. Thanks. Bye.